So I just wanted to make this video real quick to say that you can actually see the, the different mice down there. But yeah, the, the Razer Death Adder V2 was the best purchase I've made when it comes to mice. Um, I really think the Viper um, is more of a gaming, you know, first person shooter Twitch mouse. And if you get in that claw grip, you know, it's okay. It's an okay mouse. I understand why people like it. But, you know, if you want a mouse where you just put your hand on it and it feels optimum, you know, again, depending on how you hold this mouse, the, the Viper, you may not feel the, the right side right here, these buttons. You know, they, but I mean, a lot of times when I'm holding this mouse, you know, my fingers are rubbing up against these buttons and it's just so goddamn annoying um, when it happens. But, you know, sometimes it's, it's fine. Like, I can't feel the buttons on the right side right now because I'm in optimum claw grip, you know. But if I palm this mouse, my ring finger just goes all over these buttons on the, the right side. And it's just like, oh, God. You know, it's got that glossy, slight, slightly sticky feel. So you really can't palm grip this. Like you have to be in a constant state of claw. And, you know, it's okay then. You know, like when you're in the action. When you're playing a first person shooter or a real time strategy game. But as soon as you want, you relax. Like you're just doing general computer stuff like most people are 99% of the time unless... You're playing video games all day like a fucking idiot. Um, yeah, the ring finger just rubs all over these two buttons, and it's just distracting. It's it's just really... I mean, again, depending on how you hold the mouse, you can avoid it. Like, if I move my fingers really far up the mouse, then my ring finger goes beyond, you know beyond those buttons but I mean you really have to go out of your way see as soon as I put my hand on it like a normal person where I have my thumb in between the buttons over here this this ring finger is all over the, those buttons and that's just trash this is a trash mouse mainly because they put the buttons on the right side the Death Adder, it like I like since I got this. Uh, okay, when I first got the Death Adder yesterday, um, I thought I fucked up again. I thought this lump right here, this bump, ruined it, and I thought I wasn't gonna get used to it. And I actually got used to it almost right away, within a few hours. And the past two days now, I haven't even thought of taking it, taking out the Viper. Like, I literally forget that I'm using this mouse. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. You know, it's got a nice palm grip. There's there's no buttons on the right side. You know, you put your hand on it. Again, give it a day. If you're, if you're not used to this shape, it may feel horrible. Honestly, I thought it was horrible for the first hour. And now, like, I forget that I'm using it. My ring, my pinky, my index finger, my middle finger. They're just palm gripping and chill. There's no glossy button bullshit. You know, there's no indention that's causing fatigue. I mean, it's just comfortable. It's ergonomic. And when I put my hand on this, like, I, 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 like, I have zero thoughts of taking out the Viper at this point. I, I think, honestly, the Viper is a bullshit mouse. I really do. In all honesty, I think this is a bullshit mouse. This is a terrible design. Uh, mainly because, again, the right side buttons. Glossy. All over your ring finger. Unless you're holding it in a very particular way. Maybe when you're in the middle of gaming. Okay, but when you palm grip this... When you palm grip the Viper, 
just remember this. When you palm grip the Viper, your ring finger is all over these glossy buttons. Just remember that. If you own a Viper and you don't own a Death Adder, when, you, when, when you're just browsing around and you feel that glossy button on your index finger, just imagine owning a Death Adder and having that problem alleviated and just having maximum comfort palm gripping it it's amazing like again like I have zero desire to switch from the Death Adder V2 maybe like if I was playing video games like very intensely maybe I'd be like oh I'm going to switch to the Viper because it's a little bit more responsive in claw grip but I mean I have zero thoughts of oh I feel like going to the Viper no I don't this this thing is like a abomination when it comes to chilling and just using your computer. So, Death Adder V2 was the best choice. Like now they have a Death Adder V2 Pro that's wireless. I highly recommend you get this mouse. I understand why it's the best selling mouse and all this crap. You know, again, a lot of these tech reviewers, oh, it's old, it's out of date. Haven't haven't you seen? A no. This is Razer's fucking ergonomic mouse that they have been updating and it's just better and better. And it's Razer's ergonomic mouse, bitch. It's not some outdated thing. This is like their flagship ergonomic right-hand mouse that everybody buys. Okay, this isn't the latest gimmick like the Viper. The Viper is a flawed design that's only good for claw grip when you're intense gaming and these buttons are fucking retarded on the right side. This is not a everyday use mouse. This is a herder, I'm going to play a aim game. I'm going to play CSGO. I'm going to play whatever the fuck. Okay, this is, this is a bullshit mouse that I have zero desire to use when I'm browsing the web. And, you know, making YouTube videos and all that shit. This is this like I I can't express it enough. This is the best mouse I've owned, the Death Adder. No glossy bullshit, fully optimized, no gimmicks, no frills. Give it a day. It's the best purchase I ever made. When it comes to mice, this is the real deal, bitch. Real deal. Oh my God, it's maximum comfort. Again, give it a day. If you don't like it at first, it you know it's it's if you're used to these gay stupid little mice with holes in them and they're symmetrical and they, you know, give it a day. I think you'll love it. I mean, again, your hand actually has to kind of adjust to the new shape. Again, I, I, I was using like a $5 little tiny Logitech mouse for years and I thought everything was huge in comparison and you just got to get used to it. These, If you're using these stupid symmetrical ambidextrous gaming mice, you know, it's fucking dumb. You know, again, there's a lot of people, oh, palm grip, ugh. Like, that, that's, this is for normal people, okay? That actually want a professional optimum mouse for comfort, for, you know, this is a mouse, ugh, it's, it's, you know, it's a monstrosity for those, when I'm aiming in some shitty ass game that nobody should be playing to begin with because it's a waste of fucking time. Yeah, this is for big brain people who got work to do. Okay. This is some gimmicky viper. I, it really is. I, I mean, again, I can hold it in a way that it it works, but that's like when you're in the action. Like this is like when you're in that game mode. You're in claw grip. Like you're seriously slinging the mouse around. You don't got time to think about bullshit. Okay. This mouse is like for everything. You know, you just browse around. You don't even think. You, you don't even. It becomes a extension of your hand. You don't even think about it. This one's like, oh, why is it? Why? Why are these buttons on the side always fucking? Why? Yeah, uh, shit. You know, I strayed away from it. I I went back to looking for mice because this wasn't it. This was not end game. The Viper is not end game. Nobody should buy the Viper Ultimate. It's a stupid mouse. It's not an end game mouse. You don't need to get the Ultimate Viper. 
The Viper is a stupid piece of shit that's worth about $40 for those times when you're going to be playing those gimmicky, stupid point-and-shoot games. The Death Adder is for, you know, it's for everybody who want a legit, comfortable mouse that you forget that you're even holding. You know, again, I don't even think about switching back to the Viper. This is a bullshit mouse. I mean, it's got its one little niche, and that's it. I mean, you'll you'll forget about the Viper, I think. 